I did. Remember when we played the finger game about the balls, about the little one, and the one that got bigger, and then about the great big one? Do you think you can remember that today? Then let's play it again, shall we? All right. Here's a ball, and here's a ball, and a great big ball, I see. Let's count them now. Are you ready? All right. One, two, three. Should we do it again? Do you think you can say it right along with me this time? All right. Here's a ball, and here's a ball, and a great big ball, I see. Shall we count them? Are you ready? Then one, two, three. Well, that's fun to play sometimes, isn't it? Maybe we'll do it again sometime. Well, we talked about a little ball and a bigger one and a great big ball. And we're going to talk about little things and big things today, too. But we're not going to talk about balls. And we're not going to talk about ice cream cones. And we're not going to talk about flowers. We're going to talk about animals. We're going to talk about big animals and little animals, the mothers and their babies. And I have some pictures here that I thought you might like to see, some just pictures that have been cut out of a magazine. And then I have some special pictures, but I'll tell you about them a little later on. Here's the first one. Do you know what kind of animals these are? These animals are found on the farm. And do you know what noise they make? Can you make it right along with me? They go, oink, 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 oink. And there's the mama pig and all those little baby pigs. See them all? There's a whole bunch of them out there. Should we look at another picture and see what kind of a mother and the baby we have this time? All right. There. Do you know what kind of an animal this is? Well, this is a goat. And the mama goat is called a nanny goat, and the papa goat is called a billy goat. And do you know what the little baby goats are called? There are two of them in this picture, aren't there? And they're twins, and you know what they're called? They're called kids. The nanny goat, and the billy goat, and the little baby kids. And here is another one. Oh, look. The mama horse and the little baby horse. The colt. Mother's called the mare and the baby's called the colt. See how very small he is? But look how long his legs are. Why, his legs are almost as long as his mother's. You know, I'd like to take you to the farm with me now and look at some of the animals that I saw on the farm. And I put a halter on his mother and led her around and I knew that if I would leave her her little baby would follow, and there he is. I'll bring him right up so that you can take a good look at them. Here we come. Say hello to everybody. Oh, and they have such nice velvety noses. Oh, it's just so much fun to rub them. And if the horse knows that you're their friend, they won't hurt. There's a couple of people that were watching while we were taking the pictures. Would you like to see him run? Come on, little colt. Run for us so we can watch you running around. Well, that's pretty good. But maybe if I ran along with you, do you suppose you'd run? There he goes, kicking up his feet. Back around. And he, see how he always goes back to his mother? And he's hiding back there. Well, we'll see if we can't scare him out. Come on. Out in front. Oh, he's so cute. Now let's see if we can get everybody to run. Maybe if I lead his mother... Well, on the wrong side, we'll just have to turn around. Now, come on. Come on, let's go a little faster. There he goes. Prancing around there. And then, here we come with another one. Oh, and this little colt had never had a halter on before. And he didn't like it. Look at him prancing around there and jumping around. He'd never had a rope on him before, and he was afraid of it and so he was jumping up and down, but after a while, he let me pat his head. And he was still pretty scared of that rope, though. But it was all right. He'd eat things out of your hands, and his nose was nice and soft, too. But still that rope again. He didn't even want to run with that rope on his head.
Come on, we'll go over and see your mother. And there she goes, so the little colt's going to follow. Look how he braces his feet. He backs up and backs up. And look where we are now. Run, my good sheep, run. And you know, in just a minute, there's going to be another big batch of sheep that come out. And if you look very closely, right in front of me there, a sheep will jump right straight up into the air. You have to watch very closely. Here they come. There, did you see them jump? And there they go. How about seeing a little one? There we are, a little lamb. And he says, bah! Oh, look at him. He's just all woolly and white. Just so cute. We'll put him down here now and see where he goes. There he goes. Where do you suppose he's going? Yes, sir. Right back to his mother. Here's another one. This is a different kind because he has black on his face, you see. Look at him. Isn't he cute? <coughs> just like a nice soft rug. We'll put him down and see if he can go find his mother. There she is. And pretty soon now, another little lamb will run right up to them. Oh, they're going to walk away. Well, you better hurry up, lamb, and catch up with your mother. Now, there comes another one, you see. You know, sometimes sheep have twins. And here are a pair of twins right here. Let's get a good look at them. See? <laughs> Aren't they cute? Just as woolly as they can be. Where do you suppose they're going to go when I put them down? Let's watch. That's not a sheep now, is it? You know where we are? We're over with the pigs. And look at the long nose or the snout on this pig. And his ears are pointed. And if I put him down, he can't run to his mother because he's old enough now that he's been separated from his mother, but he goes over and joins his brothers and sisters. And here is our two mother pigs with their little babies. See how small they are? Well, look at the head of the great big mama pig there. She's a great big one. Mama pig is called a sow. And some of the little pigs were getting their dinner. And that little white one there, he didn't know if he liked me watching him or not. This is where they live, under a great big shed like this, and they stay in the shade. And sometimes the sows or the mother pigs don't like you to get too close to their babies when they're very, very tiny. And so I'm just going to stay right here and just look right in at them. Because I don't want the mama pig to get mad at me. Oh, they're all sleeping in there. Here's another one. His nose isn't quite as long, is it? And look at his ears. They're round instead of pointed. And instead of saying oink, oink, oink all the time, sometimes they go, wee, wee, wee. They squeal all the time. And you know what? I found out that if you held their feet together, they wouldn't squeal. And there they go. Run, run, run. Pretty soon they'll come to a corner and one of them will go right around the corner. And you know what the rest of them do? They follow them right around. Round and around. Now where are we? We're back to the barn and we're looking at the cow and her calf. There's the mom cow. She's a short horn. And here is her little calf. Isn't he a cute little fella? likes to have his chin scratched and he'll come a little closer and then all of a sudden he'll pull back like that again he doesn't really know whether he likes it or not so he decides it's about time for lunch since his mother's eating grass he figured he might as well have something to eat too and all little calves you know drink their mother's milk so he's going to get something to eat too Everybody's eating. Look at the horns on this cow. Big ones, aren't they? You know how a cow washes her calf? Almost like a cat does. Sticks out her tongue and she licks it all over. Would you like to see one of the little calves right close up again? Well, maybe, just maybe, I can walk over very, very slowly and go right up the calf. Maybe we can look at the calf again. Come on. There we are. See, 
he's all brown and white. And he's not woolly like a little lamb, but he's furry nonetheless. Isn't he cute? And he says, Meh. <laughs> Look at his long ears. He has great big beautiful eyes. Here is a picture of a mother cat or a mother cow and her little calf. But this is just a picture. Wasn't it fun seeing the real animals running around? You know, it's vacation time pretty soon now. And maybe you'll be taking a long, long vacation. And if you do, you might be driving through the country or way out in the field. And as you drive along, maybe you can look and see how many different animals you can see. Oh, it's much fun just to ride around and say, Oh, there's a cow over there. And that cow has two calves. And you know what? Every time you see a white horse, you can lick your thumb, press it in the middle of your palm, hit it like that, and you'll have good luck. Did you know that? Why, if the news hound here were a white horse, I would go lick, press, hit, and then I'd have good luck. You know, something else, there's a game that you might want to play while you're riding in the car and looking at some of the different animals. You could draw a picture of all different kinds, maybe pigs and perhaps a cow. Let's see, how should we draw a cow? Cow has great big eyes. And the horns up here on top, and the ears come out the side. And then we could draw a picture of a horse, too, do you suppose? Let's see. And then as you're riding along, every time you see one of these animals, you put a mark beside them. There, and that, and that. And you can play with your mom and your dad and at the end of the day count it up. It's a lot of fun to play this counting game. <laughs>